Hello everyone and welcome back to another review here on Jurassic Collectibles. Today we are taking a look at the second heavyweight figure from the Hammond collection, the Parasaurolophus. As you can see from the front of the packaging, this figure comes in the same Hammond collection packaging which the Baryonyx also came packed in. The unique side render for this figure shows the Parasaurolophus is based off of the Lost World Jurassic Park, an exciting decision given the few inclusions we have seen of toys from this film up until this point. On the back of the packaging we can also see a full render of the Parasaurolophus alongside a screen cap from the iconic game trail sequence in the Jurassic Park sequel. Much like the Baryonyx, when we get this figure out of the box, we can see that the Parasaurolophus comes with its tail detached. When we get the Parasaurolophus out, we can see that this is a much beefier and heftier version of the Hadrosaur than those we have seen before, feeling much more authentic to its depiction as seen on screen in The Lost World. This figure packs in all of the articulation that we have come to expect from the Hammond collection. I would have liked to have seen a hinge in the wrist joint on this figure, but I can understand why Mattel opted to not include it in this instance. One thing I like is the fact that the mouth of the figure can be opened and closed, something which we have never seen on a para before. It is unfortunate, however, that the range of motion on the neck joint isn't quite as wide as I would like, not allowing this figure to look up or down like we can do with the Baryonyx. The depth and sculpt details which enrich the Parasaurolophus match up to the high standards which many of us have begun to hold the Hammond collection to. The head and crest have some great paint apps, and although the cheeks do feel a little beefy like some people have pointed out, it still looks great. Where this figure shines is the coloration on its back, with the orangey brown colour chosen for the stripe really standing out and looking fantastic here. I really love this colour choice. There is also plenty of other paint ups throughout the figure, including some brown highlights on the stomach which blend into the underbelly nicely, and also black paint applications for the nails on the feet. It is worth noting that the hands don't share this paint unfortunately, something which I wish the para had got here too. One thing which blew me away is how easily this figure can be balanced on one leg, simulating the herding movement which we see in the sequence it is pulled from in The Lost World. Whilst some joints can feel a little restrictive, overall the posability on this particular figure is spectacular, and is something that really really does shine when you get it in hand. When we compare this figure to Mattel's other Parasaurolophus, the difference is really night and day. The details, coloration and proportions are so much better on the Hammond collection figure, lending more to the collector style figure which Mattel have clearly strived for. This figure also scales nicely with human figures, and even looks great when compared to the juvenile Parasaurolophus released recently in the Legacy Collection. There are few figures I buy multiples of, but this Parasaurolophus is one which may just cross that threshold, as the detail, posability, and general authentic feel are all big ticks in my book when it comes to what I look for in an action figure. Overall, the Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus is a delightful addition to the collection. The couple of small issues I have with this figure are outweighed by the pure attention to detail and stage presence which this action figure brings with it. If you're a fan of The Lost World then you do not want to miss this figure. It is one which I am very excited to do toy photography with, or photography even, helps if I say it properly, um, and I will certainly be adding more of this figure to my collection in the not so distant future. That's my thoughts guys, as you can tell I'm stumbling over my words, I'm very excited to have this one in hand. As always though, I'd love to hear from you. Is it a figure that you're excited about or are you looking forward to other offerings from this collection? Do let me know what you think in the comments down below and as always, take care and have a great week.